Hello fellow school growing gamers, my name is Warden and today I'll be giving you the tutorial for all the houses that we saw in the prank video if you have not seen it, make sure you check it out, it's in the card on your screen right now. But anyways, let's start with the tutorial. So let's start with the tutorial for the first door, it's quite simple actually. So what we'll do is we'll just get a block and place our door on it, No, it does not matter how you place it. You can place it like that or like that, it does not matter really. And then what we do is we just take it one block off, we we'll place our pressure plate there, and then right under this block, we place a piston and then another piston under it, and then we place the piston facing upwards. This piston is facing towards this block so that we can break it. Then we basically get this block, we leave a block, and then we put a restaurant dust there for that, it will require another block that we just placed. Now when you're done with that, the door will look something like that and then you are completed with the first design. Now let's move on to the next one. So you start with this arrangement. You have your door on one block and then you skip one block and then you place your pressure plate there. And then we just make a trap door. If you know how to do that, you can skip this little bit of part, um, like around 20-50 uh, seconds. And then yeah, if you don't know how to do it, just follow me right now. So basically put your pistons like that and then you put two pistons like so um, just a second you basically have this 2x2 two two grid and then you put your pistons like so on it so basically when these will um, extend they will come here and then they will extend and retract these blocks now actually I did a little bit of mistake we need to place them on this block so yeah so this is how you start with a trap door system you'll have one layer of pistons in, on this block and then another layer of pistons like this so how you make these pistons is just simple you make you put two pistons like that and then you put one piston like that okay so let's start with the restaurant what you do is you just come here you place two blocks beneath these pistons and then you put a restaurant torch here and then you get a block you go one block down and then you put two blocks going into these blocks and then what you do is you take two repeaters and put them like so and then you come out and put some redstone there and then you also take some redstone and put it I mean not redstone some blocks there and then you just put you just put a few repeaters there put some redstone dust on there as well and then what you do is you just connect both of these up make sure they are on the same time and then you put these on two ticks and then we can try this out let me just quickly take a button here and this should work now as you can see the trap door works just fine um i broke the door accidentally now if you want to place these blocks here so they basically can't escape this um it depends upon your place and all that stuff but i just show you a generic solution that would work for most of your houses so what you do is you just come out one block and then you put uh, pistons like so. so they have to be one block away from the blocks that you want to place it in front of and then what you do is you just extend this bit a little bit and then you put an observer there which goes into a block and has restaurant dust on top of it and then simply put two restaurant dust like that and it will work just fine so let's test it out again and as you'll see it will extend and retract so in this case when you start off with the thing because this is a hallway Okay, let's make this a hallway, um, a hallway actually. So yeah, basically when you have it like that, you have to have it closed at first. So as you will see, like that. And then when we have our door there, when, what happens when we press that button is it extends and then it retracts. So basically your suspect or your victim cannot, yeah, not suspect, victim cannot escape this trap easily. That's what this part does, but this is like, but this is the basic how to make it. Just put an observer and then put it up to pistons that you want to extend and yeah that's pretty much it now we'll connect it up to this uh this pressure plate and what you got to do is you have to use slabs here should you like the building blocks and then what you do is you just put slab coming out here and if you don't know what, why we use this is because if this piston extends and this is still powered then what will happen is basically this piston will power and then it will not be well, good for us so yeah you basically use that these don't actually need to be half slabs but remember that has to be a half slab oops actually you got to put it like this so you put three half slabs here 
and then you connect it. I tried it the other way around, it did not work. So yeah, basically you have to put it like this. So you bring out the rest, you put the redstone dust here, like that, and then you just take two half slabs and put them like so. And it will work just fine, as you can see here. This is one, two, three. And then this one works just fine. Uh, I'll just quickly demonstrate it, and then this will work just fine, as you can see there. Nice. Now let's move on to the next one. So this is the basic setup for your prank, the third one in the wedge, the one which blasts out creeper at you, creepers at you actually. So yeah, you have your door there, it's on this block, and then you leave a block here, like so, and you put your slime block there, and then you put your piston there. So this is the basic setup. I show you the basic setup so that you can basically orient this to your door. And then what we do is we simply um, have some obsidian here, first of all, well, obsidian or any immovable block basically, like furnaces or any of the blocks of that, that sort. You can even put glazed terracotta here if you really want to. But yeah, you put some obsidian there. This one, actually only this one needs to be one. And then if you have any blocks around it, I would suggest removing them or just replacing them with obsidian. And then what you do is just simply put it like that. Not there actually. And yeah, that's, that's all the blocks that need to be obsidian really. And then what you do is you just put your pressure plate here, which would normally be there. So let's just quickly go into let's turn and get some pressure plate for us. Um, that one, yeah. And then what you do is you just put, take a pressure plate and you hook it up to this uh, piston here. So you just simply use these things. And I don't remember actually how I did it in the original one, but I'll just quickly make something up here. And then I think an observer will work just fine. Yeah. So now what will happen is. As soon as I put it up there, it will do something like that and it works just fine. Now what I'll do is, now this this is something, If it is, of course this is a one time prank, so you don't actually need to do anything about this because when this will extend, this trapdoor will be retracted with it. See? So if this is a one time prank, then this is pretty useful because you gotta align the creepers to the orientation of the door. Now in this case, because the door opens this way, I'll put this trapdoor on this side so that the creepers so you see this is like flush and if I don't have this, I could get, basically get struck. I'm, I'm holding my forward key right here, as you can see, and I get struck. But if I have a trapdoor there, then I don't get struck because the hitboxes match. Now what you do is just basically cap, catch some creepers from the wild. And this is the difficult part basically. This setup is really easy, but the creeper part is difficult to get out of here. Um, so yeah, I close the door right now. And then this is basically your setup. Now I would advise putting the door inside like this way so that the creepers are like basically contain contained and then just put a block on the top, makes it easier for everyone. But yeah, now just see, creepers come out and door closes, the trap door is gone but you can fix it because if this is a one time prank only. But yeah, this is the prank, the tutorial for this prank done. Now let's move on to the crowd favorite, loop de loop. Now this one will take a lot of time to make, but anyways, it's, it's a really good one and I think you all will enjoy it for sure. If you don't, if you have not seen this door, I'll just quickly show you how it works. You come here and then you get back to the same place. Now, actually, this one took me quite some time to make, but yeah, it's, it was quite fun. And it has a lot of less restroom, like a lot of components going here, but I'll, I'll take you through everything, don't worry. So our basic arrangement is this, our pressure plate is here and then our door is placed on the block next to it and then the next two blocks will be removed. So again, we need to make the trap door. Now you know how to make the trap door and if you really want to want another, like, want to watch it again, I'll show you how to do it right now. But it's, it's simple, quite, it's quite simple actually. So yeah, just follow along right here. So you come, block, come down two blocks, you put a piston there and then you put a piston going on the left of it and then you put your four pistons like um, so, they should all be facing towards the door and then this is just, it involves, this thing involves three trap doors, like three sets of them, so all, each of these is like tileable, so yeah. We have this system again, the trap door one, and then we just quickly start with the redstone, so I'll take green concrete here, because that's what I took in my original design, um, I missed it, never mind. So yeah, basically come up like here, and then you put two blocks here, and then two blocks going below that. And then you put some repeaters here and some restaurant torches on the back of those blocks but I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Put the repeaters here, put them both on two ticks 
and then you put your rest and torches here and then what you do is you just put some repeaters on the top as well set to one tick actually and then you just take your redstone like so you put both of your blocks like that and then this becomes a common input line so just a second put your redstone like that and now put some repeaters here now this is basically to make it easy for us to hook up this thing to anything else and then that's basically this module done now you come off one block and then you build the same thing again so yeah you know the drill now and you see i love my trapdoors because they're just so much they're so useful for making pranks but again we'll just do the same thing again um if you want to follow along just follow along it's pretty easy to make you torch there and then you put your repeaters repeater there and then you put your stone dust there you take your um repeaters actually i messed it up um you put it like that yeah and then you take your repeater there and put it there then you just quickly take some blocks put them like so and then you have it like this put a block there next to the redstone dust and then you put your repeater in this is both of the modules done for the trap doors actually wait yeah they're done and now i'll quickly tell you what we'll do next now before we make the things on the bottom i would like to show you how to make the input so you just basically have a restaurant does there and then you just make two tracks put it like so and i think this will just go down one block right when we meet these places and then we just put it like so and then what you do is you just take a repeater here put it going like that like that so both of these at the T section and then you just connect them with redstone like so and then you put redstone dust there and there so now as you'll see when I stepped on this both of these will retract and when I step on, step on it again both of these will come back now that is how you make the input we'll add more to it but this is the basic and actually you got to have a repeater here going out from this just because we'll have something on the other side as well so yeah that makes it much easier that is how you make the input and now, then we're gonna come down one block below from this torch, the one on the left, on the leftmost torch. And then we've got a slime block there, and then we're gonna go out one block, put a dummy piston there, destroy it. And then what we're gonna do is we take, we'll take the yellow line now. So yeah, I, I do like using colors for my circuit, it just makes it more organized. But yeah, now we're just gonna do this. And of course, put an immovable block here, like obsidian, for example. And yeah, dropper or anything else will just work fine. That is because they might hold their front key and get stuck on that block. So you place some blocks here, you put your obsidian there, and then we have our yellow line here again. What you do is you just put um, continue this yellow line, make this connection, and then then you put a repeater coming out from this and set it to four ticks. Put a restaurant dust there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we have three repeaters now. Four and five. That's all you're gonna need. Then you put two, uh, two restaurants just like that. Now, after we place that, we put four ice blocks. Now, I have used blue ice. You could use any ice you want. Packed ice will work just fine. And then you put an obsidian block here. And then you put a slime block there. And then you put a sticky piston just below it, just like so. And then what you're going to do is take an observer, put it below this piston. And then you put a block there. Actually, I use some different color. Let's use blue for now. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use light blue concrete. So yeah, you put a block there and then you just put basically have a line going into this piston. And then we're gonna do this and all this stuff. We're gonna fill both of these blocks because it looks better this way. You don't have to fill that one because I don't think anything will go in there. But then you put a block below this observer which is facing into this piston. Uh, I'm falling. Anyway, so yeah. You put it there then you take your restaurant dust and then you just put it like so and then between that you put in two repeaters both set to four ticks to add eight ticks of delay on this that is so peculiar so if i put this thing here it does not work but then i when i put it here it works just fine so yeah don't put your repeater there put it there then it will work just fine I did it in my original design, I just thought it wouldn't make much of a difference, but it does. So put your repeater here, okay? This has to be on this block. I'll just give you some reference here. So it is just next to the block that is powering this piston. Or else your design won't work, okay? 
won't work. Now we got this whole cycle made and then what we're going to do is basically do the timing circuitry and we'll be done. So now of course we'll have a wall here and then this timing circuitry is done like so. It is basically just wrapping around the whole circuit that we have already made like this. So yeah, you just put a line really close to what you have already made and then you just wrap it around like that. Now this one actually comes out a block. So you just go something like that and then you put one block there and then you put another block like that. And this is how the line will look. Now what you do is you just take an output from this with a repeater and then it goes into a block and then it goes into a lot of repeaters, a lot, a lot of repeaters. So it just goes like that. Continue going with the repeaters. And then you just after you reach this one, you stop and then you put them on one tick or you could just alternate them with blocks like so and it will work just fine. And then you just reach there, continue doing that and in no time you will have something ready. Um, not that. So yeah, you just keep on doing this and as you can see, you are done. Now this thing should in theory be working. Let me test it out and if I have any problem, I'll let you know. So yep, I did find a flaw. This one needs to be on one tick and this one needs to be on four tick. So earlier we had it like this. You would have to you have to just set that to one tick or else you'll just push it out and it won't work. This is perfectly timed and you cannot even like add some ticks or remove anything because then it won't work. So yeah, have this on one tick. Now let's start with the last design. This one is a big one, right? But it's actually quite simple to make. It's just trap doors and some timing. So you start this one with this sort of arrangement. I broke the thing, but it's fine. Quickly fix that up. So yeah, the arrangement looks like so. You have your door on this block and then you go one block off to this side, to the right side in this sense. And then you go, you go one block behind backwards and then you make this sort of arrangement. Now, if you want to learn how to make it, it's just again, a two by two grid of pistons. And then you have two pistons like that. And then you just place two blocks like that. That's how you make this thing. And this is basically the, the basis or the piston layout for a two by one flush door. So yeah, this one is basically done now. And now let's start with the rest tune. Also, before we do that, you gotta come one block off and place a button on this one. So you come out from one block from this piston and then you put it on here. Now, if you're wondering if you will see this in the wall, yes, this is the wall. And yeah, that is how it's gonna be. Now let's start with the tutorial. Also, 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 one more thing. The pressure plate goes on this block just in front of this door. Now let's start going into a piston with a block on its top like so, which goes into a T flip flop. Now if I just quickly show you what how that works. You have your block there. You take a repeater out from the piston and then you put a restaurant block right there in front of the piston. Now on this block where it just comes out, you put a redstone dust and then you take it out on the block and then then you just take it into blocks just like so and then you put an observer here with the block on its top going into a sticky piston and with a cauldron on its top just like so and then you take a water bucket and hopefully not spill it all over the place throw it away and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a roof on top of all of this just like so and then what you're gonna do is take some restaurant dust, put it like that, just like so, making a straight line there. And then you take a, a comparator, which goes into this repeater. This is set on, yep, that's on one tick. And then you have another comparator going out, out from this, within going into a repeater, which is set on four ticks, going into a block, like so. And that goes into some, this, these two pistons with the restaurant dust there and then this is pretty much done as you'll see here when I step on this and I go in of course you'll be rushing in I'll just stay a lot of time backwards and then when you put it uh, jump on it again it will work just fine that way and then you can of course operate it using the button as you can see here it's really simple and it's a nice little prank it's actually quite helpful for your friend now if you want to change this up a little bit and make it um, differently, that's fine, you can use any sort of flip flop, flip flop, 
but yeah this is how you will make this and it's just basically a 2x1 flush door connected up to a pressure plate which is toggling it on and off but anyways that's all the designs we have today anyways guys thank you all so much for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next one